Capcom presents Underrated We Gems. Hello and welcome to another We Remember with a pretty big-ish fan request in Zach and Wikipedia crest for Barbarossa's treasure. This is this is the definition of an underrated uh, diamond in the rough in the Wii library because A, it was a huge mega failure. So it's, it's one of Capcom's biggest failures financially. Um, um, and it came out really early in a console's life cycle, so some people kind of missed it. It's either you kind of miss the boat when you're too early and when you're too late, you know? Um, it's a brand new IP. It wasn't any recognizable IP that Capcom already had. So it was kind of like it was hitting every possible thing it could do to fail. Um, and, and, and yeah, it did, so... Uh, I forget the phone. Whip! This is like the noise of my pants, like, fly off. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that's, that's, it's, it's embarrassing. Leanne always laughs at me. So what the fuck is Zack and Wiki? Well, it's kind of like an adventure puzzle game. Like, sort of like point and clicks. Like LucasArts point and clicks, but not really. Have you heard of Treasure Island? Treasures from around the world rest beneath its sandy surface. Many have tried to seek for its treasures and the legendary ship. What? You've never heard of the legendary ship? What the? Come on! It's the twinkle in every pirate's eye. It's the beat that makes a pirate's heart uh, quake. I know Treasure Island and I know the, the legendary ship. We have to find the One Piece. I met a young lad seeking to become a world famous pirate. This is how our story begins. There he is. There he is, yeah. He's a weird monkey child. I don't understand what he is. I don't, I don't understand what Zack is. So Capcom presents, again, a, a huge, huge, massive mistake in making this game in terms of uh, making a profit. Um, but yeah, lots of people in previous uh, We Remembers has, has mentioned Zack and Wiki in there, and I can no longer ignore, ignore it. I did buy the game, actually, at full price, and I had no idea. It was just... You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was, like, the first Capcom game on the Wii, perhaps? Not really sure about the dates there, but again, it was fairly early on in the Wii's life cycle, and, you know, for reasons I already outlined, it didn't do well. Um, do I think it could have done better if it was, like, a weird puzzle spin-off of an existing Capcom IP? I think so. Um, but, you know, you also have to applaud them for trying something new. I mean, it is Capcom for fuck's sake, so... Um, almost every time they try a new IP, they get punished for it, so... Here we are! Now we have many cute characters going on. Probably too many can- Whoa! That's kind of annoying. Zaka! It's time to wake up! We're almost there. So that's our aforementioned wiki. Wiki! Affiliation to Sea Rabbits. Favorite food? Pistachios! Zack found this golden monkey in his travels, and Wiki has been his faithful sidekick ever since. Look at that charming-ass motherfucker there! He's like a magical bell monkey? I don't know. He's golden. Look at his little tongue come out. Aww. Ellipses. Oh, goodness! Look at all those fucking tits! Did you see him? Haha! <laughs> it always works. It's Zaku! Uh, he is also of the Sea Rabbits. Uh, he loves the chocolate and the newest member of the crew. Zack is a free spirit with big dreams. Someday he wants to become Hokage. Ah, oh, you fucking fooled me. Hate you. You fell for that all the time. But you don't you love your treasure, don't you, dick boss? Meh. So, Zack, very salty, but he'll just enjoy the chocolate. So this is our other friend. No, he is not a rabbit. He, I don't think Capcom knew anything about rabbits, so they just kind of made this bunny character. It is the sea rabbits, after all. Yo, guys, we're approaching the drop zone. Prepare for the world's first Halo jump. It's Johnny Style! His favorite food is foie gras. The sea rabbit's ace pilot and mechanic. He's rough around the edges, but well-respected by the others. And he has this big, weird red nose. Very unrabbit-like. I don't know. 
Hey, Johnny. I know we don't look like much, but we're still pirates. You don't, yeah, you don't look like much. It's true. Why do we have to ride in this rickety bucket? We need to ask for first class next time. I'll have some Prosecco in first class. Tell it to the captain. We're up to our ears in debt. Heck, we have to sell all my off my old ride. I can't get any work done with this discount rental plane. I need my ride. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ora, 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 ora. So, uh, Zach, for whatever reason, doesn't really talk. He's kind of like a Link. Linkish. He's like a Link type. And everyone else talks around him. And I guess because he's like the actual guy that does a lot of actions. So maybe his actions speak louder than words. I don't know if he's mute or he just doesn't talk in game. Nobody ever listens. Hey, hey. hey yo, Wiki, PD up. Mm. Make sure you take care of the prep work. <laughs> Let's get right on that shit. Stutter. So what the fuck do you do in Zack and Wiki? Well, first you aim at the screen. You have a spot you want to move to or check to aim there. Try the try the A button. You might want to check something. So, yeah, it's like a Wii uh, pointer game. Um, you can look at things. And you can throw boxes around. Hey, what are you doing? It, it, didn't, it didn't really do anything, so that kind of sucks. Let's look at Johnny. Johnny, what do you got? Yes! So, in certain, like areas like uh, scenes I guess uh, there's things you can look at that give you points and then there's things that don't really do anything like dude in the box did nothing but you get some points there and then yeah check anything that catches your eye so there's like important things to look at and they all equal up to the score at the end of the level so what uh, son of a bitch yo Zach look in the back old B while moving go on take a look around so yeah you hold B around to actually look around the scene. Ding! And that was correct, I guess. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's just stand here. But there's a tyrant in the back. Lordy Lou, fucking Tom Cruise, now what? Zaku, take a look outside. Ding. Let's see what's happening outside. Let's check out the camera, too. Check the camera icon, so that's over here. What's happening? Nothing. It's, it's fine out here, actually. Did I say anything, though? Wow. It's a lovely view. Jeez, how can you be so calm? Eh, something's coming this way. So it's a much larger ship. Ooh. That group of troublemakers just appeared out of nowhere. They're a band of bourgeoisie pirates called Rose Rock. This fucking game's awesome. Ding. Those guys are always getting in our business. So, it is, it is, uh, uh, run by, I think these are, like, little, little man boys. I forget what these are. But it has a very Francisco Von Karma pirate lady. There they are. The gall of those rabbits. They can have the right to grab whatever treasure they fancy. They need to be taught all the riches of the world belong to me. Yeah. Go and grab their treasure map. Very, very risky boots, isn't it? Captain Rose, favorite food, whipped cream. It's not food person. The wealthy leader of the Rose Rock Pirates spoiled to the core. She enjoys the finer things in life, and she loves treasure. So she's basically Karen Kenzuki, and she doesn't shut up like her. Okay, that's enough of that. She's like, eh. hey, listen when I'm talking to you guys. Just shoot them or something and bring me that map. Let's get out. We'll get to it. Those guys are awesome. So you can see this does take, you know, a pretty light-hearted approach. And it's very not Capcom. You know, when has Capcom ever made something even like Beautiful Joe, maybe? I don't know. Oh, my. Oh my. Sounds like fucking Barry Goodman, God. Little Skull Boys. They like making noise. Uh, Goo number one to seven. Uh, they're, they love to eat toads. The Rose Rock henchmen, they're always weighing on Rose hand and foot, and they would go to the ends of the earth for their. Aww. One of them actually fucking looks like me. Uh oh. You can't lose them with this pile of shit. There's only one thing left to do. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do. Mr. Zack, Mr. Wiki, our captain once said I should learn from you both. No matter the danger, they never lose their cool. That's what makes them true pirates, he said. 
From the bottom of my heart, I agree with him 100%. For you brave pirates who are the hope of the sea rabbits, I have one but final thing to say. See you later, fuckers! Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Staring at it like nothing. <laughs> at least we got away. We're gonna plummet to the earth. And what now, fearless leader? So, what do we do? How about this? Is this anything? Ding! The lever must open the rear hatch. So, so let's press it, yeah? Ding! Pull the lever to open the hatch. So, the, one of the gimmicks of, of Zack and Wiki is that you actually have to use the Wiimo and things like pulling levers and poking bombs and things like that. So, you actually have to kind of like use it like it. So, yank down on the lever. Here's the overview of the rules. So you can see this naked man, who's very gross. Hold the Wii remote the way you would the object you're grabbing in front of you. Got a good grip on the lever. Just grab it. Just grab and jerk. Give it a shot. So yeah, it's fairly easy. And and then we're gonna get the fuck out. Nice one, boss. Let me check the hatch out. Oh, we'll check the hatch. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> what is with some kooky characters? I love them. Don't worry, I can see their parachutes. The young lad adventuring to become the greatest pirate in the land, Zaku, and out on a quest to pay back some debts. Scratch that. And out on a quest to make dreams come true! A noble pair of heroes. But do they have what it takes to find the legendary ship of of porn, I guess. I don't... We're never... Mm, maybe we are told. It has been a while since I played this. But... Still the danger continues. Ding! Well, we got out of that one. If you could fall, call this an escape. It's not the fall that worries me. But, uh, the splatterizing at the bottom. How about this? Up here. That's good! That's good! Uh, the laws of physics dictate that this is very good for Zack... A box even an odd place to keep an umbrella. It is something makes you want to check it out. So yeah, let's 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 grab that. Press the two button on your Wiimote. Get it? Oh my god! Can't imagine testing this. It would like fuck with your mind. Nice one, boss. The umbrella is acting like a parachute. I guess he doesn't weigh a lot, Zach. So it makes sense. Now I won't have to scrape a Zach pancake off the ground. Oh yeah. Did you know? Line the star up with an iron, kind of press A. Drag the item outside the, the box and give it a shot. I don't really want to do that, but let's do it anyway. Nice one! Is it really? This is how you throw items away. Try not to forget. Did we even look down to see what's below us? It could be water for all we know. We're fucking sky pirates. Hey, big guy, you're planning leaving me behind where you be. be, 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 be. So fucking Wiki's kind of a dick, to be fair. Oh my god, I, did we die? Zaku! So cute. Zaku, I call Zach my I call Zach the cat Zaku sometimes, so. Okay. Well you see his little bum bum there, that's cool, I guess. It's fine. Having fun dangling from there. Does look like fun. Come on. We have to get started on a treasure hunt. Get down from there, motherfucker. So you just kind of shake. Shake, shake, shake. Nice one, boss. Well, thanks to the Rose, Rose Rock Pirates, I have no idea where we are now, but we won't give up that easily. But I love giving up easily. Even when you have to crawl, claw, or scratch people's eyeballs out to reach the treasure, right? Whoa! Look, look, look. There's a big fucking treasure right there, so that's cool. What luck. That must be karma for being such swell guys. You better go and grab it now. Whoa! There's more shit! Look, 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 look! But we don't have a whole lot of time. It's in front of the hunk of junk we were riding. It looks bigger from the outside. If it slides out way, we'll be flat and good! What the fuck we do? What the fuck we do? Look at the tree. Tree. Look at that. That's a tree. Quickly, before the plane falls, we remote grip. Pistol grip, pump, I'm gonna have a good time. Pistol grip, pump, oh shit! Ding! 
<laughs> Look at Zach just freaking out in the corner. Centipede, ding! Watch out, it might be poisonous. Let's just, like, fucking gurn right now. Looks like it's time to go to work. So, Wiki is magical as fuck. You'll see why. Wiki just turns things into other things. So now we have the Saw Spear from Bloodborne. When they hear me ring, they'll turn into a useful thing. The fact I can make convenience items is, uh, convenient. So just pick up this shit. So let's play in the plane. I know the plane. Uh. We have the most dangerous thing in the world, the Senta Saw. Let's go over here. Let's saw this shit. Dang, and just like you would in real life when you need to cut down a tree because a pirate sky ship is going to crush you, you gotta do that motion. Now I'll just leave that there for you guys. You know, I've seen some Tomi Tanaka videos in my day. Anyway, let's saw this shit up. Nice one, boss. That was a thousand. So it's basically like Devil May Cry. You get um, rewarded and graded with every single thing you do. So let's get up there and let's vamoose. Now, will this have even killed us if we had stayed there? Let's see. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There's some rainbows, though. That's nice. Back to chocolate. I was man, a lot of we remember games I'm playing recently have a lot of chocolate in them, don't they? Fucking punch it last time. That was a close call. Just a little longer, and we would have been flat and smushed and then squished for good measure. But you probably would have made us magnificent food for the fish down below. That's a good way of looking at it. Tractors are hunted is filled with peril for the unwary adventure. You can tell what danger looks around the next corner. A little imagination, intuition, every ounce of our wits, I'm sure we'll get by. Just keep your spirits up and remember, with me, what could go wrong? I guess! Now, it, when you say what can go wrong, let's see what's going to go wrong. That looks poisonous as fuck. The booty lies before us, but that's tainted booty, don't touch that! It must be a spirit guarding the treasure. They'll probably only curse us, so let's just grab the treasure and run. <laughs> you don't want to be cursed? All right, then. It's time for me to step up. You know, the curse, if you outrun it... You know, curses can be defeated two ways. Running really fast and sleeping it off. Give me a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. It's a beautiful day. So, yeah, the, the, the spirit hates that shit. Whoa! Cervantes? Oh. oh! I must be dreaming. The sky, the wind, the sun. And I'm finally free of the darkness? Imprisoning me? Excuse me. What? You? How dare you? What have you done to me? Ding, who are you? Uh, don't play dumb! You will get off the hook that easily. You did this to me. I think I'd remember if I met some creepy floating skull. I would certainly remember that. He must have mistaken me with someone else. What? You don't remember me? And that means a lot. My pieces together. It's just... It's complex. Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have a few cobwebs upstairs in the long years of darkness. You both saved me. And for that, I'm forever grateful. You're my heroes. I must find some way to thank you. My name is Barbaros. I was brought to this sad state by a terrible curse, but I'm really a pirate. Barbaros? The Barbaros from all the legends about Barbaros? You know about Treasure Island? Well then, I'll cut the introduction short. I'm the infamous pirate Barbaros, master of Treasure Island. His favorite food is roast beef. A legendary pirate known around the world, but a curse has left him in pieces. This is a bit of a surprise, isn't it, Zaku? This man is myth come to life. Well, he's kind of, he's, never mind. Let's keep chatting with him and see where this goes. Okay? It's <laughs> kind of a weird way to put it. So your name is Zaku. From your appearance, I'm assuming you're a pirate like myself. <laughs> of course you are. And I can just sense the greatness about you. I ask you, sir, for a favor, as one pirate to another. I was cursed. 
My body torn asunder and cast to the four winds. Would you be ever so kind to put me back together again? You have my internal gratitude. And of course, I'll reward you from your kindness. Doesn't this seem like the skull of fucking Dr. Eggman or something? Looks like it. What would you like? Don't hold back. Just speak whatever comes to mind. Chocolate! Here it is, Zach. Now's your chance. Panties! Ask for panties. Just say it. You know, the object of every pirate's dream. Okay, so he does kind of talk. He wanted a Wiimote. What? The legendary ship? Ho oh, ho! My ship's become a legend, and you want her? Yeah, I'd, I'd love a go. You've got excellent taste. I knew I sent some greatness from you. Ho oh, ho, she's a fine vessel. We'll get you anywhere you want to go in a gist. This is just between us pirates. But there's some fucking weed in the bottom decks. All right, it's a deal. If you can put me back together, I'll take you to Treasure Island. And give the old girl. Yes, my legendary ship. I'm sure it'll... I'm sure that's what he'll wind up doing. The reward is set. I leave putting me back together in your capable hands, Zaku. Wow. That's his little victory pose. By the way, you there. What the fuck are you? Huh, me? You there, the floaty one. Dang, of course I know you. You're the legendary pirate Babalos. That's all right. Uh, never mind. Don't you worry your little head about it. Uh, I'm a bit tired. It's, you know, being a skull is, it takes a lot of energy to just exist. I rest my old bones. Farewell. This is turning to be quiet. Am I high? We're going to see Treasure Island and score a legendary pirate ship and be swimming in the puss. Whatever danger awaits, it'll face right by your side. Unless it doesn't pay. For buddies, you can always count on me. Hmm. So that sets off our legendary pirate adventure. I got many points. So, um, yeah, you treasures gain. I got an old umbrella and the synthesaw. Oracle dollars you use in platinum tickets use are basically, um like little cheats, like hints and such. This is a tough game, actually. It might not seem hard, but... Oh, look at that! That's an awesome fucking picture. Um, this is actually yeah, a really tough game later on. It punishes you, like, pretty quickly if you, like, second-guess yourself or you take too long. Um, I've, I've, I've never beaten it, for sure, but I've heard lots of people throughout the years say it's actually a tough, tough game. We're finally back at the hideout. I thought you were on a one-way trip to the other side for sure. Oh, we, we were. Zach, go, we better tell everyone we're back. I'll be waiting for you to hear from us. Zach and Wick is back. All right. <laughs> That's the boss of us sea rabbits. He used to be an amazing pirate, supposedly. This is Captain Hulk. He loves all of the food. The leader of the rabbits and a big man. He is steadfast and not easily rattled. Before you got on any grand adventure hunting treasures, some some grand treasure hunting adventures, be sure to check with the boss first to let him know what you're doing. So that's your legend map go-to thing. So we cleared that shitty island. Uh, then there's another shitty island we can do. It's just the jungle ruins tile set, you know. Uh, but let's look around a bit first before we do that. Now the Japanese love their little snot noses. I don't know what it is, but... Dimmy, I heard something good you'll want to know. Gross. His favorite food is his own snot bubbles. He has a lot of useful info to give, but some of it should be taken with a grain of... So then he sh you shouldn't listen to him. So the guy always has his ears picked up for Soul Calibur style rumors. If you want to listen to rumors, check the bookshelf. You can read them all again. All right, so you have no rumors. That sucks. So there's a coffin here. This is where the legendary pirate parts are kept. We have a golden coffin just for Barbarossa's body parts. Because all the parts are talked to the legend himself. Oh, please, no. Ah! Like, do you really need your hat, sir? Is that a legendary pirate part? Oh, the light and this breeze. How I long to feel in my own body again. Especially certain parts, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's a pirate's life is spent in pursuit of treasure, especially coins. Never forget that. Get paid. Yeah, I got it. Only 16 parts remain. Like, fuck you. 
like, why can't you just show me with your head? So there's, a, there's Johnny there, Johnny Style. Hey, yeah, sorry, I, uh, uh, left you for dead. Cleared, and then there's a new. You want to kill the new whenever you see it. Pit of Tragedy. Jeez, this is about Mighty Number no. 9. Let's go play. So there's a treasure. It is a couple rooms away. Stato. Let's look around. Let's look at this. Investigate it. There's absolutely nothing. There's the key. Let's try to grab that, shall we? Uh, this is my full extension. Uh, it's just like... Um, like coins for fun. You can buy the platinum tickets and, and such with that. Holy shit! I just got bit in the face! Fuck you, Snake! You're mine now! You're my mind slave! And these are fun. These are like, you know, the kitty Gripto claws. I think it has a cute name. The Slither Grifter! Grifter, I was about to say. So that's not too bad, right? I just need to actually get the Wiimote to go on screen. There you go. And we will use the fuck out of this grip Gripper. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mine. It's mine. That's one, boss. So yeah, not too bad, right? So let's pick up the key. And ba -ba, the ruins key. So I have to go downstairs. Hopefully there's not going to be like a fucking poison thing to hit me in the face. Well, I'm very surprised that I'm still alive considering that fucking cobra bit me in the eyeballs. But whatever, there's not a lot of blood in eyeballs. I don't know what I'm saying. So there you go. And then keys. Feels good. So close to that delicious, delicious treasure. What you got? What you got? Okay. Let's check this pot. Hopefully, it doesn't have another snake in it. Fucking Johnny hey. Styles. Yo, Zach. Wiki. Mm -hmm. What's shaking? Yeah. Reminds me of Johnny. Johnny fucking Bravo. The treasure lies before you, but don't let your guards mm. down. One false move can end it all. Mm. Press B to look around. Mm -hmm. Carefully. Yeah. So, like, fucking look, idiot. So, let's look around. Doesn't seem like there's anything, but there's still bullshit about. You never know. To get that, I need my fucking slither copter back. Uh, hopefully it's back up there. It's not too bad. Let's go inside. And let's try this out with my slither gripter. Slipper gripper. Eh. Eh. More. More, dog. There you go. Hopefully this isn't gonna kill me, whatever I just did. It looks like it almost kinda almost killed me. So I think if you don't do that, then the, everything caves in, or you fall through the floor, or you get smushed into the Zack Pancake that the game threatened you before with. Nice one, boss. Just carrying around the slipper gripper. Why can't I say this correctly? And get away, foul demon! This is my new cryptocurrency in here. What we got? What we got? He's fighting with the treasure. Stage clear! The Eland bracelet! Is the, do you need the bracelet? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's a lot shinier than I remember it. <laughs> Hurry up, put me back together. You you need the bracelet to help me get to Treasure Island. Oh. I'm putting together like his armor or something. Not bad, not bad at all. Keep up the good work. Why am I going into like Vincent Price? The pit of tragedy. It wasn't it wasn't that tragic, I guess, but you know, that's fine too. So I didn't use any uh, items in this Devil May Cry screen. Whoa! There's a lot actually. So let's go by what the levels are actually called. The more dangerous they are, the more fun they must be. Flute of the Growling Goblins or Three Colossi. Yeah, how about that? Alright, so I think I think we got another level in us. Um, I 
again, it doesn't really seem like it, but the game does get tough. And I think this might be the, the first uptick in, like, what do I do? Alright, so, we're here. Already, there's a lot of shit going on, but let's look at things. Some type of poozler. Right? Yep, yeah, remote grip. That looks like it could be right. And then we'll take this one, lay it on top of that. I hope this is okay and doesn't murder me. And put this little dragon snake face on the very top. On this very special episode of Naked and Afraid. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. That, that has done something. Let me pull this. In the traditional Wiimote style. Yes. You like that? You hated it. Okay, so the problem is that this is actually upside down. There you go. Kids can't figure that shit out. And then lay the weird snake face on top. It, put it right side up. And that should be acceptable? Please don't explode. Yeah, it accepted it deep inside. What the fuck is that? A crank? Is it a crank? Nice one, boss. I'm a genius, apparently. Glad someone finally started to lie to me. Uh, so is it a crank? Crank handle! Resident Evil style. All right, so there's a pot there. Let's see if there's a snake or something gross inside. Snakes aren't gross. Get a bad rap. And what about this uh, little Rocky? <laughs> More uh, coinage. No, no, no. Yeah, you know, let me let me back. You know what? I'm here. Just, just shove that crank in. Your remote grip. And just turn it like a crank, kids. That's all it's ever gonna be. Make this fucking weird statue of Sonic. It looks like Sonic from here. There you go. Wow, is that it? Let me just go up here. No! What has happened? Am I gonna fucking die? Is this gonna crush my skull? Oh! No! Mouse trap! I'm gonna die! Move, Zack! Do something! Don't just no! So yeah, the game's getting harder. <laughs> so that was just a straight up failure. Um, so you can revive. Let's do that. But the passage of time itself can be reversed for a price. One platinum ticket shall turn back the clock. So I have three. Fine, a second chance shall be bestowed. So right there, before I was an idiot and stepped on that red thing. So we have to uh, stop that. So let's crank it up in here. See if anything else different happens. Oh. So is that because of the... There you go. Let's try that. There's the plus. Let's see what this gets us. Bam, bam, bam. So we move that out of the way. Nice one, boss. So let's maybe grab that and place it uh, in the... That is a totem head. Okay, so let's move this back down. And maybe then, if we activate the trap, nothing will happen. That seems to make sense to me. Never mind the mysterious cuts that you saw earlier. Take this guy. Put him down there. Uh. 
And then this should just harmlessly do nothing. But then, yeah. Then, then, then let's do it, do it this style. Crank it up, crank it up, crank high voltage. Yeah, do all that shit. Wait, is this still gonna kill me? This is still gonna fucking kill me, isn't it? This is still gonna run over and kill me. Okay. No, wait, I'm just... I just decided to dodge it this time. Sure, I was fucking shitting my pants right there, everyone. You want to know what the sound of it sounded like? It sounded like that. So let's scream this ghost away. Go back to your state of living death. And I want the, the gross part that's in this treasure box, please. Just go. Just go, Zach. It's right here. There you go. I love the fucking sound effects in this game. Bamzos! Stage cleared. So what is this? Like his cock ring? And it's a growling goblet. Ooh, it's a lot shinier than I remember. Hurry up, we'll be back together. So uh, over there, I think this this is where items might be. Let's let's look at those items. I wonder what pow block is. What is pow block? So there's no music. There they are. There's the music I was thinking about. Music. SFX. There's music. I have zero music, so fuck me. Uh, so that was just a quick look at Zack and Wiki. Uh, my arm is literally getting tired of playing this because I'm sitting in an awkward angle right now. But um, yeah, I think you can see that the game has a lot of charm. It can certainly tease your brain, if you have my brain at least. But it does get even harder after this. Um, and I never finish it. I'd, li I'd love to... Just, I don't know, sit down and do it one day, but I don't think anytime soon. But it's definitely an underrated game on the Wii that you could find for pretty cheap. And it was really Capcom taking a chance, doing something super different. And they were unfortunately not rewarded for it, but that's why we highlight certain games like this on We Remember. So if you guys know of any other underrated or, you know, sort of treasured Wii games that you'd like me to take a look at, let me know in the comments below or hit me up at MacMuscles at WeWear.com. Fuck, that's, fuck, that's not right. MacMuscles at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.